and welcome back again to lesson 52 in the creation of our school management system using microsoft excel and word with the geforce it service academy on youtube please in our previous lesson we dealt with how to insert the formulas that can help us to change the status of our fee payment database the formula that can help us to change the status of a particular student the formulas that can help us to change all the status of all the students that will pay money into our fees payment database system so we were able to insert that formula that can determine whether the student has finished payment or not so in this lesson we are going to continue and do some basic settings on the status here but before we start if you are new to the channel Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all. If this is your first time watching this video on this channel, then please make sure that you share this video with your friends. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all. So that when we upload a new video, you'll be able to get a notification and you'll be able to benefit from that video. Please also don't forget to check the description of this video and get more video links on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel and word without any stress and without any challenge so let's just get started and begin to do the various settings on the status that can help us to know whether the student has finished paying his or her fees or the student is yet to complete payment so please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end make sure that you follow the lesson from the beginning to the end so that you don't make any mistake all right so we have the formula here working perfectly in our previous lesson we dealt with how to do auto filling for the formula to appear in all the the, the, the sections of this particular fees payment system so we are going to do some basic setting here so let's just select the first row like this then we come to the home tab then after going to the home tab like this then you come to conditional format we want to give a color that can appear whenever a student is done with his or her payment or a student has completed his or her payment so that is what we are coming to do now we call it conditional formatting so when you click on the conditional formatting like this select highlight cell rules then we select this one equal to good so we want to give a particular color to uh, this one here so if it is unpaid then the color should be something something must happen here so let's go so unpaid like this then it should have uh, light red fill with dark red test light red fill with dark red test so let's try something here so if it is unpaid then it should be uh, yellow fill with dark yellow test or whatever so let's select the first one here light red fill with dark red test so when you click ok it will appear here now we need to do auto filling so that it can take effect on the rest of the unpaid sections too so you make sure that you position your mouse pointer on it like that let it appear like the plus sign you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end like this good so we should be able to see that please don't forget to save your work so Control s to save your work Control s to save your work now we are going to that same section to do something there again so select the first one like this let's go to the home tab and let's go to conditional formatting we want to give it a color whenever a student is done paying his or her fees so select highlight cell rules here then equal to then completed so completed like this so which color are we going to give to that one completed green filled with dark green test light red fill whatever 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 so let's select a color for that one so let's select dark yellow and so let's select this one yellow fill with dark yellow test like this so when we click ok 
it should be able to take effect so let's just do something here this student here is in kg1 that student is supposed to pay 200 cities but the person paid only 150 ghana cities so let's pay the rest of the 50 cities like this so please have you seen the completed here but the completed can work for all of them only if we do auto filling so let's just select it then we place our mouse pointer on it like this let's drag it to the last end so that it can take effect on all the classes like this good so let's just control s to save our work now let's come to this side here and let's just enter some details for a particular class so let's take it like um okay let's scroll to the top let's scroll to the top let's see the section first before we come back okay so c column c column here c column so let's take it like the person is in a basic two like this so let's assume the person paid 200 cities here the fee is what 350 cities so let's say the person paid 200 cities here then 150 here so when we hit enter we should be able to see completed here good so please have you seen it so this is how it will appear immediately a student is done paying his or her fees in the school so this one the balance here is 200 cities so let's just pay that 200 cities for the person let's assume the person has paid the 200 cities so good we will see completed here so thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much for paying attention to this video thank you very much make sure that you share this video with your friends and family members make sure that you check the description of this video for more video links on how to create a school management system make sure that you drop your comment in the comment section in case you need any new video please make sure that you contact or you whatsapp the numbers appearing on your screen so thank you very much let's meet in our next lesson on how to create a school management system thank you very much bye bye Thank you.